Dave, I don't know how much you can see of this, but it picked up the disc, putting it in the burner, did a great job. Now the burner is going. That's going to take a minute or two. I'm just going to let it keep running. Still chugging along. <laughs> I think I've got about seven or eight discs in the right bin right now, and there's no discs in the left bin. Should have burned a smaller file. Sorry about that. Should have burned a much smaller file. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, that looks good. All right. So the DVD is finished burning, or CD is finished burning. Now this the arm comes over, drops down. This is where you want to watch because it. Well, now it's not picking up the CD. Okay, got it. So the printer tray came out and it jumps to the left and drops the, D, the CD. I don't know if you saw that or not. So I'm going to open the lid. And what you're seeing here, that's the CD. And that is where it's supposed to be. And then when I lower that, I hit that left button it's supposed to continue now which it does so now it's uh, working again and it's dropping another disc in the CD I did two discs so the second disc is going in and now it's gonna burn So the burning process seems to work just fine. It's the printer part that's not working. So now the CD, the, D, the CD is burning, and the printer is just getting ready to print. Here it goes. Good. Okay. So I know you're not seeing much here. It's kind of dark, but I'll show you the. Final product when it's done. So the problem just appears to be with dropping it back into the printer tray. It, it always does it at the same exact place every time. Sounds like the DVD or the CD, I'm sorry, is almost finished burning, which is good. And still printing.
I just use the standard template on the, the print so as to not do anything special on it. Looks like it's almost finished. I think it's almost finished. <laughs> it should be pretty close. There you go. Okay. So now the printing is done. So the CD arm goes over picks it up off the printer did a good job there and it drops it in the tray now it's going to come over and the CD tray is opening now it goes down to pick up the CD out of the CD tray it's got that printer comes out and it does the same exact thing. It jogs over to the right and drops it. So then I lift that and then I go over here. I get it set in the printer tray and I'm going to take this out to see, see that it, it did print that one just fine. And I'm going to drop this down. I better put that back in there. I don't know if it's looking for it at one point. And then hitting the button again. And from this point, it takes it in and it finishes the print job. So now you see the error happen twice. And uh, that's, what's, that's what's killing me. <laughs>